I found these two laptops at my relative's place. I'm a sucker for old electronics. It makes me happy to give second life to old computers, which uh, helps prevent e-waste. The HP is a very old and underpowered one, so I'm gonna take that one with me and make a future project reusing some of its components. The Dell is quite modern but has many issues, so I have decided to give it a second life with some touch-ups and put it up for sale cheaply. The laptop has many issues, firstly it being a Dell. <laughs> The outer shell looks horrible, but the most important thing is that it works. First thing is that the power button is broken, all thanks to Dell's silly designed part. So the objective for that one is to take off everything and slap some hot glue on it. The second thing is the charging barrel, which doesn't hold the cable in. That can be fixed by removing and disassembling the charging connector and bending those tiny tiny metal legs. The third thing is the not functioning fan which after some touching starts to move and that's good enough for this repair. The fourth thing is that the battery is dead. I removed the battery off camera to disassemble it and check what's up with it and it seemed that the separate cells don't hold charge anymore so it's worthless. The laptop works only when connected to the power plug and that's good enough. The fifth thing is that the screen is very wobbly, the two screws holding the screen were needed to be tightened and that's all. The sixth thing is which is just so stupid, the sticky palm rest. Now I thought that those geniuses that work at Dell for sure would not create a stupidly made palm rest design using glue, right? Well that's where I stand wrong. I thought that it was just some type of dead skin, dirt build up and I thought I'll just use some alcohol to clean it but that turned out to be a shit show. So after a horrifying experience, it's just a piece of plastic that looks ugly. But at least it's not sticky. Del, fuck you. The seventh thing is that it's using Windows 7. Huh? So I got my friend to do the sin for me and install Windows 10. And that's it, this bad boy is ready to be sold. And uh, buyer number one, number two, fifty, number three, uh, sold! No one is actually buying it. There were a few people that came uh, to check it and they were like, Oh, the price is too bad. So, what can I conclude from this? Don't buy a Dell because it was meant to be deleted. For those who are now jumping into the comment section, Oh, you know nothing, oh, Dell, Dell. Come on, calm down, boys, just breathe. It's mostly a joke, but at the same time it isn't. Uh, I have a new one here from 2022 or 23, but my opinion still stands. Just uh, don't get attached to brands because they will hurt your wallet.